Hello, wildlings. I'm your creep smith, and you found my fear forge. <laughs> Lucky you. Tonight's tale, The Rest Stop, by the Ridicles. Alright, so I'm not someone who's into the paranormal or the supernatural. I don't believe in ghosts, monsters, aliens, or anything like that. However, I have to write about what happened to me last week because I honestly don't know how to explain it. I work in the sales department for a large company and I'm frequently required to travel. When I have to go out of town for business, I almost always drive. I've always loved road trips and I really enjoy the time alone. It's just me, some music, little greasy fast food, and the open road. When I'm on a longer trip, I usually sleep in a hotel somewhere in the daytime and then drive at night. There aren't as many people on the road and there's less chance of getting a ticket for speeding. It was during my last road trip that I experienced something strange, and it was the scariest thing that's ever happened to me. I was driving through Texas, along Interstate 40. I had left Amarillo and I was planning to drive through Albuquerque to Flagstaff. Sometime after 1 a.m., I drove through a small Texas town called Glen Rio. Now, Glen Rio seemed to be either completely closed down at that time of night, or it was a total ghost town. About ten minutes later, there was this rest stop. As you can expect, it was just your typical, dirty state stop with a few vending machines and a restroom. I figured I'd pull in, use the restroom, maybe grab a candy bar and a soda from the machines, and continue along the interstate. Now, first of all, there weren't any other cars parked at the stop, which isn't usual outside a small town at that time of night. I parked my car, headed for the restroom. It was dirty, dimly lit, with those stainless steel toilets. There was graffiti on the walls and along the mirrors, and that usual gross smell that's unique to rest stop bathrooms. There was nothing unusual or strange about it, other than, you know, anything you'd see in a restroom at any other rest stop in America. I stood in front of one of the urinals to do my business, and that's when I started hearing a strange noise. It kind of sounded like laughter, but gargled. Almost like someone was laughing from underwater. I don't know how else to explain it. It wasn't a loud laugh, more like a chuckle. And it was only for a moment. Then, it stopped. Like I said, I like to think I'm a rational person, so I didn't think much of it at the time. I just thought it was probably a plumbing issue or something. Just before I had finished uh, doing what I was doing, I heard it again. Only it was louder this time. Just a gargled laugh. The bathroom had several sit-down stalls, and like I said, it was dimly lit. The sound was coming from the stall furthest down the line, and the stall door was closed. Now this was the stall with the least amount of light, rendering it almost totally dark. Hello, I said. As soon as I spoke, the sound stopped again. Is there anyone in there? Are you all right? Then there was another sound almost like someone dragging their feet. Then, silence. I bent down so I could see underneath the stalls. Now, like I said, there wasn't much light illuminating that particular one, but I could tell that there was no one in there. I shrugged, went to wash my hands before heading back out to my car. Just as I was drying my hands, I heard a creak. I didn't turn around, but I could see in the reflection in the mirror that dark stall's door slowly creeping open. And what I saw instantly filled me with the worst sense of dread I've ever experienced. It looked like a man, but I knew it wasn't. The stall door had opened just a crack and I could see about half of its face. It had a smile too large for the face, sharp yellow teeth, dark black eyes like a doll's, and no nose at all. It was almost gray in color, and it had patches of dirty black hair. I just stared at the thing, and it laughed again, 
but the laugh was different this time. It sounded like how the devil must sound if he were to laugh. So I ran out of the bathroom like a bat out of hell with that horrible laughter following me the whole time. I didn't stop and look back and see if the thing was following me out of the bathroom until I got to my car. And I was alone in the parking lot. Whatever it was never came after me. I continued my drive and the rest of my trip was fine. I just made it back home yesterday and I thought maybe it would help make sense of things if I wrote it down. Now like I said, I like to think I'm a rational person. I don't believe in the paranormal or the supernatural, but if you're driving through Glen Rio, Texas, don't stop at any of the rest stops just to be safe. So stay scary, my wildlings. Maybe try traveling during the day and make the most of your nights. <laughs>